Welcome back to another video of J. Francis Reviews, where we do unboxing of comics and mysteries and sometimes both. I am very excited. What we have for you today is a individual purchase uh, from eBay from someone called Comic Book Nerd. This series of videos are all under $40, and this was a very interesting purchase. So this was $31. 65 including tax, $25 plus $5 in shipping. The thing that drew me to this particular sale was the fact that it was one of five purchases. Um, each blind grab bag includes at least 20 bronze, copper, or modern comics. You get at least one variant or signed comics. And some have both. At least one number one issue. And there's at least $50 in value uh, based on cover price. Uh, the majority are in very fine condition. Um, some are, most are unread. All comics are bagged and boarded. Getting a variant guarantee and a potential sign and at least one number one, it's always an exciting prospect. And being that it was uh, one of only five available also seemed like it was pretty interesting to me as well. So it says, thanks for supporting my small business. Lots of great comics inside. I will show, thanks for your purchase. And this is packed pretty well. So first up, Spectacular Scarlet Spider, number one. And Chewbacca, number four. We have an action figure variant of Deadpool, Series 1, and then a Marvel X-Men, number 19. There's Colossus on the cover. That is my favorite hero. Ooh, this is pretty nice. Standard double-sized issue, The Amazing Spider-Man 388, Incredible Hulk, and Submariner. Ultraman number one, The Rise of Ultraman. Not somebody that I've collected, but I hear a lot of people are very into him. And then Marvel Fanfare number six. And then we have Earth's Mightiest Avengers, Agatha Harkness appearance, and Black Knight two. Then we have the Hercules number four in a four limited series issue. It's a pretty decent old comic. Wolverine number 49. And Avengers Unplugged. I like how this is done. I mean, it's double sided, which I don't normally do, but it still looks like it's packed pretty good. So um, we have Ghost Rider number 32. And then the Uncanny X Men number 303. I've already got that one for sure, but again, I'm a big fan of X-Men and Colossus in general. All right, Robocop, number five. I just recently came across a Robocop number two series, so that one's pretty interesting. Um, Ultimate Fantastic Four, number 24. Ah, oh, this one's interesting. Thor Corpse, number one. I just purchased a copy of this uh, in a small collection earlier this weekend. And then Daredevil 330, looks like it's got a Gambit appearance. And there's little notes on all these comic books. It's kind of, it's kind of nice. Um, all right, so we have the Mighty Thor 34. This is the second run of it. And then we have Gravity, looks like number two out of five. Let's see, Marvel Spotlight. And then Marvel Reading Chronology 2009. Overall, it looks like a really good uh, collection. I'm gonna take a peek in them and, and see if there's any specific key issues, um, anything super valuable. Take a look through it and then I'll come back with a grading. Before I get into the grade, make sure that you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more content. Now, what we have is 3165 shipped and 
comic book nerd said that it was about fifty dollars worth of value. Um, so what we had is a for a cost, I gave it about a one point five. It's what's expected. The value of the books were pretty much in the two books. The Amazing Spider-Man was actually in really, really good condition. An expert that I know gave me a 9.4 for the book. So I thought that that was a pretty good grade, being that it's a foil cover. Those are pretty hard to get in high in high grades. And so I was pretty happy about that. Um, and then as far as um, some of the other books in there, the Uncannies were in pretty decent condition, so I was happy with those. Some of the books were very well held at cover price. The Ultraman book and the Scarlet Spider-Man book, um, those were pretty decent. Nothing crazy with keys. Um, the, in fact, there were a few books that were right in front or behind some of the key issues. So like the Fantastic Four, that specific book was right in between the Marvel Zombies, which is kind of a big deal. And then the Ghost Rider, uh, book that I had was also in between the first appearance and cameo appearance of the Midnight Suns. Um, so I was a little disappointed to see that, but nonetheless, they are just picked through books. Uh, I did for collectability give it a 2.25. The reason why is because there was some decent books that were in there. There were some number ones. Um, it was a good mix. Uh, I really appreciated, I guess, the extra time that was put in because each book did have notes that were on it. And it said, you know, hey, Gambit was an appearance on one. The artists, if they were important for covers and things like that. So I appreciated that. So that's why I gave that a 2.25. Uh, as far as condition, every book was, in, was bagged and boarded. They were double-sided. There were a couple that were in rough condition but nothing that was crazy. Some of the better books were in really good condition and potentially, like I said, that amazing Spider-Man, um, you know, might even be worth grading just because those foil covers are really hard to keep in good shape. So I gave it a 1.75. It's about what it's expected. Um, nothing too crazy. I, I was, you know, uh, pleased with what it was. And then for correctness, for accuracy of listing, I gave it a 2.25. Again, I appreciated like the notes and things that they took. Um, he said it's about $50 worth of value, you know, pretty close, 20 books. I got 22. Um, you know, everything was pretty thoughtfully put in there, all Marvel books. And so I was pretty happy with that. So that was an overall grade of 8 out of 12, which right now on my channel, that is the highest grade for the under 40. And so I, I think that that's a pretty decent buy if that's something that someone's interested in. If you want, a, you know, a good mix of number one books and variant covers um you know a little bit of value i think this might be a box for you there wasn't anything that was super bad or or really that was in terrible condition but what do you think do you think that the grade was right on let me know in the comments what you think and again give a like if you like this content i love to do these videos i try to put out about two a week um, and then a few extras if i have thoughts on anything like that I actually did go and get some feedback on some of these books, and I did take a look at uh, some of the books that I was looking for. I did a little shopping to see if maybe there was something I could pull and, and like I said, get a little bit of insight into some of these books. Uh, I'm going to post that a little bit later so you might see that amazing Spider-Man in a future video. Again, let me know what you think, and I appreciate you guys watching all the way through, and I'll see you in the next one.